welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and to everybody on YouTube for Darkness Control Part 2. We played this the very first day Beyond the Bandlewood came out. But we've kind of learned some more stuff about the cards. We're switching it up a little bit, um, replacing a, a few cards, upgrading a few slots, and we are going to try again. So we, we're uh, playing nine new cards in the deck. We're playing Hidden Pathways now. This card looked pretty impressive. It's it's very easy to create two plus cards, so it's going to be basically three mana, burst speed, draw two. Before we played Stalking Shadow, we had two copies of that and and another copy of Glimpse Beyond, and just getting rid of those and just having Pathways be our draw two. All right, so that's one change. And then changing like the one and two mana slots. Um, Otterpus and just the pranks in general have looked pretty strong, and they just slow the opponent down a good amount. And they also give you the knowledge of two cards that are in the enemy's hand. And so that, that's pretty strong. And so we're going to go and we're going to play Otter Puss. We had um, another, we had Yordle Squire last time. And Yordle Squire was perfectly fine. You know, it was, it was whatever. But I think that maybe having the pranks could help out a little bit more. So even though we, we do have just a 1-1 one, one instead of a 2-1, but those pranks are pretty nice. So we got two, so we got those Otter Puss replacing Yordle Squire. And then uh, we do have a lot of Darkness cards, um, and the worst of the Darkness cards was definitely the three mana card, because it was a 3-2 that creates a Darkness. That one, you know, not as good, because it's just kind of expensive at three mana. So instead, we're going to play uh, Concho, Conchologist. I guess that's how we pronounce this. Conchologist. We didn't have this card before. Um, so it's two mana instead of three, and then we're just create we're manifesting a spell that costs three or less, instead of creating a Darkness. Thing is, if you have too many things that create darkness, you know, then you it can you can struggle getting the darkness out of your hand and things like that. Um, so we're making those few changes right there, and we'll see how it goes. Um, but there we go. We're gonna still play everything else the same. Oh, actually, we added in two rekindler up at the top end. We had two decinata, and we're taking out one of the decinatas for a rekindler, and then one something else that was up here at the top end. I don't remember what. There's one. One other, like one of, that we took out. We're going to try a couple of rekindlers. Because these champions are both really important to have. They're both summon created darkness. So they do create that darkness when it summons. And so now rekindler is basically going to be summon created darkness as well. Um, and so, you know, that just kind of adds into the create more darkness. And they'll be able to bring these champions back. All right, but that's going to be, uh, that's going to be it for our deck. Let's go ahead and give it a try here for darkness control. Why are so many people playing Go Hard? Was it changed? No, it wasn't changed. I think just that Shadow Isles Control got a buff with these two champions, and so I think that's why more people are playing uh, the card Go Hard, because it's good in Shadow Isles Control decks. But I don't love it myself. Um, I don't think that we need it. We're gonna send the Sentinel back, and I'm gonna keep the rest. I could see even keeping the Sentinel, to be honest. We'll just keep the rest. All right, gonna go to Frank. Minus one power, can't block. We're minus one power and vulnerable. I guess we'll go with the Perfectionist on that, because this Sump Worker they can just replace. It's not ideal drawing all these 7 mana cards right away. Go ahead and draw another card. Man, our curve looks really high. <laughs> They're concurrent timelines with Sumpworks Posse?
If I play Otterpuss, then the pathways cost three mana. So whatever they create will still have minus one power and can't block. But now they can't really like play any more Sunforks Posses, at least not as like the first card for round. Okay, I'm gonna play this Hidden Pathways. That was a good hit. Curve looks so high. Just so many expensive cards everywhere. And we've had zero ways to create a darkness so far. We've seen almost 40% of the deck. Well, I mean, I guess we have some ways to create darkness, but just not any cost effective ones. Finally. Let's do this or I can take the four and play like the Sentinel. Do I want to take the f maybe I take the four. Okay, maybe not. Oh, it's been drawn pretty well. Probably gonna be mini morphing this thing. The way is always the same. But we'll see. See if they have time bombs or not. Oh no! Oh no! Soothsayer. Oh man, that is really annoying. Man, that just turns into this young witch. And things have really gone well for my opponent this game. pretty unlucky how this game's worked out for us. I wouldn't be worried about winning this game almost any other time. I don't think. <laughs> they actually got Ruin Runner as one of the three options for Ruin Runner. Because you can't skip, as far as I know. You, you can't just skip that. Alright, so if they have anything that has them do more damage, I lose. Or 
like if there's if they have any kind of pump spell like that they could have what are they doing like they, if they just put it on the ruin runner I lose or the young witch I lose like I should have just lost right there That went so well for my opponent, it's it's unreal. Okay, we got Pompey Lulu. Okay. Alright, we actually have a champion. <laughs> you know, we drew half our deck last game and didn't have a champion, so that's a good start. It's a better start. We have another like early-ish way to make a, a darkness as well. Much better hand than last time. Basically thinking that I may want the mana to play this darkness right now. You know, I didn't I didn't play the prank. I, I kind of felt like I might need that mana. So they're going to have a bunch of uh, little quick attack things. Poppy grows all of these, but um, we get to block the Poppy with the 4-2. Alright, down to 11. I I got a little nervous there because of like uh, the <laughs> our um, Guardian, his hand was covering the live total. I thought it said one. I was like, what? I'm down to one? <laughs> I got a little nervous there. For just a little bit. One other card in hand. There's a chance that that's like a, a champion, a card that like that prank doesn't matter as much. Let's save that spell mana for these hidden pathways. Break their spirits and their swords. If I play Senna here, then we can 
fast speed use the darkness yeah they they could have they could be a pump spell you know I could prank to see if it is a pump spell but if it is a pump spell that's probably okay I want a fast speed be able to use the darkness and we're looking really good right now yeah we're looking great now that one card's gonna have to be really, really good. Yeah, that game's over. Okay, so one on one. That was a much better hand. I'm not so sure about these one mana create prank cards yet, though. I'm not sure. Uh oh. Draven Scion. The deck I cannot beat. So Pokey Stick. Pokey Stick's usually a good card to have access to. But I think we're gonna send it back. I think like the one damage maybe doesn't do enough. I don't know. I'm gonna try sending it back. <laughs> That's like the one card that it does kill. Naturally. I like stress defense. Deal two to an enemy or one to two enemies. That's actually also not bad. That can kill like the Risen Rider. Yeah, let's take this. Let take a peek at life beneath the wave. Or it could kill like two urchins if they have another urchin. Why are you slow speed? Easy does it. Why you be slow speed? Alright, so I'll play Vagar to get the, you know, get a darkness in play. Or, like, get a darkness in hand and, and get the uh, damage to go up. Stun all enemies with two or less power? Oh, man, this would be so good if this actually stunned all of those things. But it does not. But alas, it does not. really good. My opponent's deck. Hmm. So I'm thinking like playing this, playing Acolyte, and playing Darkness this round. And I guess Gohard's not fast speed, but it's just cheaper. No, I've never played Red Dead Redemption 2. Nope. And also heals that Nexus one. <laughs> they just have Scion, which I've, I've never played against a deck where they don't... I guess I have played against it where they don't drop Scion, but they just drop Scion here. What do I do? Okay, that's not a Scion. That's good news. The party has arrived. Oh, 
So that's kind of my plan was darkness, Vagar, darkness. So hopefully they can only challenge one of the three power units, then the other one can block the Risen Rider. Oh no. All right, so we are down to three. Best case scenario, could be dead. No, can't really be dead, because the, the plus two, plus zero discard card would go on the sump treasure. All right, we're down to three. Card's free. We'll round start, I'll create another one in hand. Alright, so I can kill the Scion during combat, but they will be able to... They will be able to rally. They'll be able to get the new one. Because my darkness are fast... Like, they are fast spells. We're going to create a darkness at round start with the ground Grand Overseer Vagar. Round start, we'll get another. I can't, like, attack and, you know, get one with Senex. You know, they can, they can block. Okay, a Vengeance. Could potentially help. Alright, so they played something... Alright, so this helps that they played something before attacking. Because now I can kill the Scion, and they get the new one, yes, but the Rally doesn't do anything, because they already have the attack token. Survival skills? Well, yeah, okay, sure. That's what we want to do. Down, sure, but never out. Gangplank, Sedwani. I'd much rather play against this. <clears throat> I feel good with this deck playing against anything that's not... I, I should probably keep it. I mean, Vengeance is great against the champions, but we want our early stuff. That's what we've kind of learned. We've got to get our early stuff. I feel great about playing against anything that's not um, Scion. I did have three mini morphs in this deck last time we played it. And the mini morphs didn't look good against a lot of aggro decks, and so I replaced a couple of them with Vengeance. But mini morph is what you kind of need versus Scion. So if if we are facing more Scion stuff, that's definitely an option again to trade Vengeance for mini morph. Wow. It's like just a perfect round one, two, three. It really doesn't get any better. I just can't play Vagar right now because Vagar just can't block at all.
Our curve is too high, though, right? Like, we've, we've had too many sixes and sevens and eights. This curve is too high. We need to trim back on rekindlers and decinators. Like, that's the only way that we're losing, is we just have way too many sevens and eights. I'll just take out rekindler. Completely. Yeah, rekindler has looked very bad. Rekindler has been costing us some games of just sitting there doing nothing. I I think we can play one Decinata, but maybe we, maybe we don't even need that either. Okay, so we're changing up the deck a little bit. One more time. We're taking out the two Rekindlers, taking out the Decinata. Because as you've seen, like the, the first game we lost, that game that we lost, we just have, uh, you know, just too high of a curve in hand, right? Like we're just having way too many expensive cards. And so we're going to get a second Mini Morph in here to help against Scion. So we'll have two Mini Morph, two Vengeance. And then getting two Solari Sentinels to get a three mana unit. We already do have the six two mana units, but we're going to try that for a three mana unit. I haven't been very impressed with the Otterpus. I actually, I don't think it really fits our deck that well. And so I can definitely see it going with something else. Uh, maybe, maybe it is just go hard. Yeah, we got these, all these extra th cards. Okay, we're, we'll try go hard. Because just inexpensive and that's what our deck needs is inexpensive all right we got teemo puppy teemo puppy we'll keep a pokey stick and a vagar We'll just lead with the go hard and see if they have some kind of protection. No, because it's you know because it's slow speed, so we want to lead with the slow speed. No. All right, looks like it's miss call. <laughs> Sapling toss can actually do some work sometimes. But we don't really need it. This is a, a play ability, so this doesn't work with Miscall, but these are all summons, all of our four drops. So all the four drops dying work out pretty well for us. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Okay, my, my plan is to just save the three mana. Okay. And I was going to play Vagar, create darkness, darkness shoot the mayor. I kind of wanted them to attack with the 2-1 and trade my 2-2 two -two away. So therefore, that Vagar was the only thing out here for a miscall. Right, so they're gonna have two mayors. This requires my largest official act. But at this point, I don't need to attack with the two-two and try to trade when I have like a pokey stick that does that really well, and I kind of want something to die for Black Spear and just other stuff like that. So this could definitely be a Bandle Tree deck, and if so. We're going to need to use Vagar to have our Darkness shoot the Nexus, most likely. Block there, block here. Hope they don't kill Vagar. Okay. It's worked out pretty well so far. Proceed to level up. 
Alright, so I'm gonna go with the Robe Maker and save two spell mana. Next round, like Sentinel, maybe a Robe Maker. That kind of stuff. This this Robe Maker is a good blocker. Hmm. I'm no hero, but I'm still gonna try. That's not good. That's not good. Definitely wish I would have gone with Sentinel. Going with the Robe Maker. Not paying off. Okay, so we're going to make Darkness cost 1 mana. And also Black Spear. Come, come. It's showtime. And then next round I can play like play Senna, shoot something for 1, attack, shoot something for 1 again. So I don't have to Black Spear, maybe I just save the spell mana. Black Spear has been a little clunky for us. Putting in Go Hard in the deck does make Black Spear worse, right? That was a big part of the Black Spear was having like the little one drops to die. I got big plans for this play. Our life steal is. Intriguing. Now let's go Senna. Because Senna has a really good champion spell that turns into fast speed that's actually that's gonna be really good against an open attack as well. Hey Vias. Yeah, you're loving this. This style deck, awesome. I think it I think it is very fun. I am still yeah, still working on it. Like we're still making improvements and everything like that. down all the way down to four definitely gonna need to heal our nexus Alright, well, well, I can create another darkness. Let's actually just use the black spear while it's enabled. That was kind of my plan was the sentinel. But actually, that makes more sense. For the wicked, for the dead, I bring rest. Please don't kill me. Do we want to do this right now so that then now we get to attack? Alright, good. We get that four Nexus healing. That's very important. Alright, good to see. Good to see. So we've seen two Pompies and one Teemo so far. Sure must be nice, taking things slow. Alright, I'm going to shoot the Arena Bookie. Keep that thing from doing all its card advantage stuff. At this point of the game, that Loping Telescope can really create, you know, it's something that's 
you know, really big and really strong and impactful. When this levels up, is it round start created darkness? I'll still summon an attack. And like I said, that loping telescope can make something very big and impactful. What are they playing for one mana? What is that card? Parley? Is there a new Bandle City card? Alright, so that levels up Senna. Awesome. Get another darkness. And this is the acolyte is a summon for like this miscall. Is this a summon? Oh, this card's a summon as well. I am in control. Wish we had these mini morphs whenever we played against Scion. <laughs> Don't really need them now. Wonder how many darkness we've actually cast this game. One, two, three, four. Seven? We just eight? We killed eight things with darkness? Nine? That's so many things. Alright, so it's 50-50. Yes, we got the good one. Hixtali Sentinel. I think we're, we're gonna get this game. We definitely should. Something crazy is gonna have to happen for us not to win. But you see, like, kind of the problem with mini morph, though. Like, if it's against Scion, awesome, but just against like regular four fives, like spending six mana and a card, it still leaves them with the three three, and the three three still, you know, attacks and blocks and will still kill you. you best I don't play. Anything can be scattered to its elements, even us. So now this darkness goes to the Nexus this round. Baddies do wait. Mama's got a gun. And that should do it. Life is Darkness ends. So yeah, it depends on what you're facing. So that's what we found out the first time whenever we played this deck was Vengeance. Like we lost two games because we were playing Mini Morph instead of Vengeance. And Vengeance, we would have won the games and Mini Morph we lost because like the three threes just killed us. But then. One of the games today, we play against Scion, and I was sitting with Vengeance in my hand, and they go survival skills on the Scion, and like, and I was just dead. I needed Mini Morph, right? So it's <laughs> if that if that uh, you know if that was Mini Morph that I would have had instead of the Vengeance, we would have you know at least had a chance. So it kind of depends on you know like what you're facing when and everything like that. So I got two and two. All right, so that definitely felt better that last game. Um, I did have the one go hard for the Teemo. We didn't um, need it anymore. I had three Black Spears in here. That's too many Black Spears. What am I playing over Black Spear? So Withering Mist would be fast speed with Senna. 
and that's nice. But is that better than Withering Wheel? I'm not sure. So if you have, if you prefer Withering Mist over v Withering Wheel, go ahead and go with that. I think that like with the Go Hards and Pokey Sticks, maybe Withering Wheel is kind of help add on to the damage of those things and help kill stuff. Maybe it's just Vile Feast, and you just get your blocker, and you drain one. Yeah, maybe it's just Vile Feast. Maybe just get a couple Vile Feasts in here. Okay, so let's try that. Let's try two Vile Feasts, one Black Spear. The Spiderlings from the Vile Feast will also help out the Black Spear as well. I think this list is a lot closer than what we had before. I'm worried that we don't have enough card draw for the Gohard, and that the Gohard will make our draws worse, right? Because like we'll play like one or two, or maybe even the third Gohard, but then we'll just have like... I guess if we have the third and then we draw another, let's pack your bags. But I don't know. I'm worried about not having like our champions and stuff because we're just drawing just some more go hards and vile feasts and not having the cards that we need. So possible like playing this catalog of regrets over Glimpse Beyond is a possibility. If you'd like to try that card out, that's probably where I would put it. I'd probably put it over the Glimpse Beyond. So that that's an option. It's still it's a four mana card though, and that's kind of rough where we have the Robe Maker and the Vagar at four mana and so like that also being four mana is kind of rough all right anyway that's going to be darkness control so different things to do um i think that we did up upgrade the deck though while we were playing it i think it's it's looking better and better all right so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button and as always feel free to leave those comments let me know what you think of these changes and things like that i do recommend trying this because we got re really unlucky in two of our losses like two of our losses to aggro we had some pretty terrible hands um, that's not really as possible anymore, right? Because we had all those other seven and, and eight mana cards that we got rid of. But remember, we had hands that were just like Rekindler, Decinata, Many More Vengeance, and like multiple hidden pa pathways, multiple Sentinels, right? Like that's what our hands look like in two games. It was pretty gross. But we got, we've lowered the curve now, so I don't expect that to be able to happen again. That Solari Sentinel did actually come in pretty clutch that last game. So, you know, give, give this version here a try. All right, but that's going to be it here for Darkness Control. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.